Ready? Hello! Are you ready for the word of the day? Yes. The yes. first thing. Okay, first, open your mouth. Oh, it's fine showing the smallest what do you think it is? things. That is what we found in you. Oh, 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 you are joy. Never give up when the going gets rough. Hope is everything you need. Oh, 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 you are hope. Don't forget you're not alone The Holy Spirit wants to guide you on The journey child will never end Won't your heart's been marked by a love for Him The smallest of seeds grow the largest of trees you just have to believe Oh, 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 you are faith There will be those who try to bring hate But love will turn the heart around Oh, 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 you are love Oh, 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 oh you are love don't forget you're not alone The Holy Spirit wants to guide you on The journey child will never end Once your heart's been marked by a love for Him Oh, and everything you say and do Let the Father's light shine inside of you Don't back down or be afraid You have power to stand in Jesus' name Always find joy in the smallest of things That is what we found in you Oh, 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 oh. Always find joy in the smallest of things. That is what we found in you. Oh, 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 you are joy. Never give up when the going gets rough Hope is everything you need Oh, 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 you are hope Oh, 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 you are hope And don't forget you're not alone The Holy Spirit wants to guide you on Journey child will never end Once your heart's been marked by a love for Him The smallest of seeds grow the largest of trees You just have to believe Oh, 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 you are faith there will be those who try to bring hate But love will turn the heart around Oh, 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 you are love All right, something new that we're doing for homeschool this year is that we have this homeschool check-in area and each of the children have an ID card. And so when they come in for to start homeschooling, they put their ID cards on. And on their ID cards in the front, I have some of the rules that I want in the homeschool room and in the back. I have a workflow of all of the subjects that they're supposed to do and the order that they're supposed to do. So the way that it works is that if they have this ID on, this is, means it's work time. It's time to do your work. And 
they go ahead and they sign in on their on our attendance sheet. He, this is our homeschool planner that I went over in our tribe, if you guys want to see an inside view of it. And in here we have our attendance um, sheet for each of the children. So they're going to be checking in right when they check in, um, just putting a little check mark right next to their name and the date. So once they have this on, that means it's work time. So the way that I'm holding them accountable is that if they um, get distracted, if they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, I'm going to remove their uh, ID cards and I'm going to be asking them to step away from the homeschool room and I'm going to be giving them a consequence. The consequence could just be sitting in the rooms for a few minutes, depending on the age. The consequence can be maybe a little bit more of a page more of math, whatever it is. But this is going to help me hold them accountable that once they have those ID cards on, it's time to do their work. So I'm really excited to see how that works out. Binders. The kids went ahead and they put their All About Me pages right into their morning binders. And their morning binders has all the things that we go over the morning, like the Pledge of Allegiance, the calendar, the weather, and so on. If you want to see one of our previous videos on our morning binders, I'll link it below. Now, I have added a few more things in here that I'm going to be sharing in my private community. If you guys are part of that, you'll be getting the free printables for that. Now, go ahead, girls, and get started with calendar. And today is August 23rd, 2022. So today is Tuesday. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. What Luke is working on is he's working on this binder here. All right, so for Luke, he's working on this interactive binder and he gets to put in everything with Velcro. So what is the weather today? He gets to put in sunny. I'll link this, um, Binder below for you guys. What season are we in? And he gets to put in summer. So it's all interactive for him. He gets to put in how he feels and all the fun things. All right, we'll keep working on that. And I'll give you a dry erase marker for the next page, Luke. All right. So once you guys are done with that, you want to move on to the next page. All right. Ready, kids? Something new that we're doing this year is that we are doing word of the day. So we have here our puppet and his name is what? Hush, Hush puppy. Hush puppy. Hello, kids. All right. 
So this is the word of the day. I'm going to be linking this material below so that you guys can get it if you want. So basically it brings the word of the day and a definition. So this is just great for, to, for building those literacy skills, for test taking, for all those things. Ready? <laughs> Hello! Are you ready for the word of the day? Yes. The yes. first thing you have to do is turn to your word of the day page. So there's a word of the day page where they're going to be writing the word and the definition. Ready? The word of the day today is swagger. Swagger? Can you say swagger? Swagger. So let's write the word swagger right where it says word. You're going to be writing in the word swagger. Now, listen up. The word swagger means to strut or to stride. What does it mean? Yes. To walk. Yes. How you walk when you are feeling on top of the world. That's what it means when you... Can I go to the hands? Oh, yes, you got to the hands. Right, can you write the word swagger in? Yes. And I want you to write in the definition. To strut or to stride. All right, ready guys? Now we're gonna be talking about our sponsor kits for this year. We're going to be creating a new sponsor kits board. So, for the last three years, we had these amazing sponsor kits that we wrote letters to, that we got letters from. But this year, we're gonna be working with a new set of kids that we're going to be pouring into their lives, writing them letters, and helping them. So I'm gonna be giving you a new sponsor kits for this year, okay? And then I'm gonna share with you what country they're located. Okay, so Iris, you have that cup, and she is a seven-year-old in Haiti. Okay, now Luke, you have John Paul, and he's in Rwanda, and he's four years old. You and, and Gabby are both going to be uh, working with John Paul. Jay, you have Miriam from Uganda, and Emily, you also have someone from Uganda. Her name is Angela, and... I want you guys to look through your sponsored children's information because there you're going to see the family duties they have, the things that they love to do in their free time, and the different circumstances that are happening in their countries. Um, so I want to show you guys where these children are located. So we have, uh, who has the person in Haiti? Raise your hand. Who has Dafka? Okay. Iris, your sponsored child is here. And she lives in a little island right here in the Atlantic Ocean. So see, this is where we are, right here in the United States. So this is where she is, in this tiny, small island. Now, the rest of the kids, you guys have your children in Africa. So this is the continent of Africa. And we have two children in Uganda. So this is Uganda right here, this yellow spot. And then right below it, little tiny spot, little tiny uh, uh, gray area here is Rwanda. You guys see it? Rwanda? So those are the two tiny spots. So we have, here is Haiti, and then here we have Uganda and Rwanda. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna work on our sponsor board. And I have some protocols that you guys are gonna be putting on your sponsor board. Um, I just want you guys to remember this quote because this is the same quote that we've been working with for our sponsor kids. I'm gonna read it aloud because I want you guys to think about it, okay? This is from Matthew 25, 35. Ready? This is what we're doing for these children, all right? It says here, For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. So whatever you're doing for all these children, you're also doing for God, right? I want you guys to remember that. All right, so now uh, I'll let you guys read your sponsored children's information, and then we're going to work on the board together, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that my heart was in for.
But you set the bar so high above the sky And you nailed it to the floor Cause for some odd reason I don't believe it in this one thing I adore What is love? And you came to me like a bird to the breeze And we floated together for a while But you had to go, now I carry the load To call in the wind and my smile See, I was told the dreams were made to be believed in So I put every single dream in you but you set the bar so high above the sky And you nailed it to the floor Cause for some odd reason I don't believe it in this one thing I adore We have our morning basket here And we are going to be reading different things in here throughout the week uh, we're going to start off with our How Great Is Our God devotional, and then we're going to be moving on to our read aloud. And we are reading Little House yes, in the Big yeah, Woods, Mama. starting off the, the year with Little Mama. House in the Big Woods Hi. by Laura Ingalls. Yeah, and then we're going to be moving on to our morning uh, memory work. If you guys haven't seen this program that we do with the kids, I'll link it below in the description box so you guys can see what it's inside the binder. But guess what, you guys? We're going to start off with something really fun this year. We're going to be learning to do drumming. Okay? Yay! All right. So I got these little baskets. I got these little waste baskets. So I'm going to go ahead and give you all one of these. I want the blue one. Okay. Now everybody, go ahead and grab one. I have some drumsticks. And every time you're going to get a different color. Thank you. All right, let's see. And Gabby, you got these little wooden ones. Now, the first thing you want to do is hold these drumsticks the right way. So look, look at the way I have my fingers. Here I have my pincer grasp. And I'm going to go like this and then grab it around like this. And you're going to go up and down. Okay? Up and down. All right. Now, listen to the beat first. Don't play yet until I tell you. This is the beat we're going to be memorizing first. It goes like this. Not yet. Okay. So I'm hitting Mama, the... Mama, doesn't listen. It's okay. She's going to listen. I'm the hitting bucket. the side of the bucket first, and the last one is the middle there. So it's going to listen. Not yet, Gabby. Can you guys try that? Ready? When I have to, I have to count on three. Ready? One, two, and three. Again, ready? One, two, and three. Ready? One, two, and three. All right, so that's all we're gonna do for today because tomorrow we're gonna do a second part. We're gonna be adding more beats to it. So let's go ahead and mess our little boxes together, our little buckets together. We're gonna put them all in here. And we're going to be moving on to other things. All right, so here we are, and we are doing the Jello Challenge today. Yay! All right, so the way that we play this game is that we have four different Jello colors. We have strawberry, cherry, lime, and orange. I'm going to be blindfolding you one at a time, and you have to guess what flavor it is. I have here a piece of paper, and if you get it right, you get a point. Whoever gets the most points at the end will get some special jello treats. All right, you ready? Yeah. Now, there are some rules though. If it's not your turn, you have to be quiet. No clues, no gasping at the end. <gasps> Nothing, don't give anyone any clues, okay? Just be really, really quiet. Okay. Let's see who's gonna go first. Hmm. All right, Iris, come on up. All right, I'm gonna blindfold you. And, 
All right, so Iris is ready to taste her first flavor. Let's see. All right, Iris, open your mouth. What do you think it is? Yummy. Is it strawberry, cherry, lime, or orange? You got it, Iris! Good job! All right, everybody go back to work again. Let me see what you think. Wait, oh, whoever's really quiet. Whoever's, who's it gonna be? Let's go against the wall. Hurry, Daddy. Go against the wall. Let's see. All right, Jade, come on up. All right, Jade. Are you ready? Sit down. In your mouth. All right, Jade. What do you think it is? Cherry. You got it, Cherry. Oh. Oh. All right. Let's see who's gonna go next. Hmm. How about Gabby? Come on over, Gabby. Gabby. All right. Let's blindfold you, and you, I'll tell you which one is your turn to taste. Okay? Mm. Open your mouth, Gabby. All right, Gabby, what flavor do you think it was? Which one was it? <laughs> was it strawberry, cherry, lime, or orange? What was it? <laughs> you got it, Gabby! It was lime. You guys are so good. Pick me now, pick okay, me. Okay, well, pick let's see if you're quiet. Why, Gabby? Who's going to go next? You won. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Emily, come right up. Don't worry, you'll be next. Okay, well, let's see what I'm going to do, Emily. Let's do the red one. Shh. Let's do the red one. All right, Emily, you ready to taste? Yes. Open your mouth. What is that flavor? Mm. Is it yeah. strawberry, cherry, lime, or orange? Strawberry. Good yeah. job! Did you got to give it away? Look you at this. strawberry because of. Uh, Look at you saying it. Okay. Kind of tasted like strawberry and uh, all the flavors were too good. Oh, that was good. Yes. Okay, everybody go with the dog. Yes, go, go, go. Are you going to pick me? I think so. Let's see if you really caught it. Okay, Luke, come on right up, Luke. Sit down. All right, Luke, ready? Let's see what I'm going to give Luke. Ta -ta -na -na. Open your mouth. What flavor is that, Luke? Is it strawberry, it's cherry, no, it's lime, or orange? No, it's lime. Lime? Uh, everybody tell them what it was. Orange. It orange. was orange. But good try, Luke. <laughs> All right. Everybody go back to work. We like taking the kids out for walks after dinner at least three times a week to let out some energy and to walk in nature. After we get back home, they're usually very tired and ready for bed. Nature has an amazing ability to heal, to improve mood, and to help children immerse with all of their senses. The purpose of our homeschool is to develop faith, character, academic excellence, and to create memorable childhood experiences. I have seen my children strengthen their bonds as they grow up together doing school and doing life together. Homeschooling also allows us to preserve innocence and childhood and to live a slower pace of life. There is a lot of sacrifice entailed in homeschooling, but the benefits are immeasurable. If you want to learn more about homeschooling, this channel is dedicated to help you along the way. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any upcoming videos for any information that I mentioned in the video any products I'll be linking them below in the description box of the video also check out my private community where I share all the insider information of my homeschool journey until the next video bye, -bye.